I'm the Economic Development Director for Dillon County, Tony McNeil. At this time, we'll follow the program as outlined. Mr. Scott? First, I'd like to say good morning. Scripture lets us know in all things give thanks. We certainly thank the Lord for being here this morning. I'd just like to say in my welcome on behalf of myself and the Dillon County Council, the Dillon County Private Partnership, and the Dillon County Economic Development Director, just want to welcome you here this morning. I know it's a beautiful day in South Carolina, but it is also a wonderful day, a great day in Dillon County and our neighboring counties. I'd just like to welcome you this morning. Thank you. Good morning. I bring you greetings on behalf of Marlboro County Council and our citizens. It is a great day, perfect for a groundbreaking ceremony. Our presence here today to dip our shovels in the rich earth of the PD for the expansion of Harbor Freight in the Tri-County Industrial Park is indeed a tribute to the teamwork of Marlboro, Marion, and Dillon Counties, our legislative delegation, Marbury Electric Cooperative, and the South Carolina Department of Commerce. And like rich soil that is so vital for the growth of everything, we are confident that industrial development will continue to grow, aided by the teamwork of all of us. Our collaborative effect and effort demonstrates the commitment to reduce unemployment in our rural PD counties and to improve the quality of life of our citizens. They deserve our help. Thank you. Good morning. Even though it's cloudy today, the sunshine is here. And timing is everything. What a perfect day for Harbor Freight to make their announcement today on May Day, May 1st, a day of celebration, a day of community involvement. <clears throat> All their thoughts, their ideas, their strategic plan has been put together as a maypole. And those of you that are of age know how the maypole works. With all the different colors of ribbon, now they have this special groundbreaking and they are beginning to, to to intertwine each perfect piece of the ribbon with this ribbon being twined together at the end of the maypole Harbor Freight now has completed a year of thinking and a year of strategic planning and now they bring to the neighboring counties over 200 jobs. I would like for Marion County Council and anyone from Marion County to please stand. We are all excited, really excited today, and we welcome each and every one of you here today. Thank you. Thank you, Chairwoman Smith. At this time, we will have the invocation by Mr. Haywood Proctor. Thank you, Tony. In quoting our governor of South Carolina, it's a great day for South Carolina. It's a great day in Dillon County. It's wonderful to be a part of this celebration today, and I just want to remind our board members immediately following our um, presentation today, where the governor is going to be in front of this sign. I want our board members there because it's such a great day. We want to get our picture made with us. So all board members, you know who you are. Please be there at that time. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day, this day of opportunity, this day of 
blessings that you provided for us. And we certainly want to be thankful for all that you provide for Dillon County and for South Carolina. Lord, I pray for our county. I pray, Lord, that you would continue to bless Dillon County, Marion County, Marlboro County as we go through this endeavor in this part. Lord, this is only the beginning of great things, and we just believe that you've got so many blessings in store for us in Dillon County. I pray for Harbor Freight. I pray, Lord, that you would bless their business. Thank you for sending, sending this company our way. Lord, they could have went, they could have located in a lot of places across this United States, but they chose Dillon County. And Lord, we're thankful for that today. And we just pray that you would bless their business, that they would continue to receive uh, uh, the blessings of God, Lord, as they expand and as they grow. Lord, we pray for our leaders today, our leaders that lead us through these times, trying times in the world that we're living in today. Lord, thank you for a governor that has a vision, Lord, to provide jobs for the citizens of South Carolina and Dillon County. Thank you for leadership in this Tri-County Park, Lord, that they have a vision. And Lord, that we can provide a way of means for our, our citizens. I pray for jobs, Lord, that the job front would continue to grow and you, you would continue to open doors and opportunities for our citizens. And I pray, Lord, for your continued blessings upon us. Lord, we don't want to be ungrateful for what you provided here today, but, Lord, we want to be grateful and know that all of our blessings come from God and that God is the source of our strength and that God is the source of everything that's been provided for us. In closing in this prayer today, Lord, we pray for a stronger commitment to God. Lord, that we can commit ourselves to you and to trust you. And then know that your word says, all things work together for good to them who love God and are called according to his purpose. And Lord, let us continue to love you and allow you to direct our lives. For it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Proctor. At this time, let's give a big round of applause and welcome to the podium, Mr. Alan Muchnik from Harbor Freight Tools. Chief Administrator Officer. What an amazing day. Governor Haley and distinguished officials from the state of South Carolina and the counties of Dillon, Marion, and Marlboro, and local governments as well, welcome one and all to the home of Harbor Freight Tools in South Carolina. I'm Alan Muchnick, the Chief Administrative Officer of Harbor Freight Tools, and my colleagues and I are so proud to be here with you and Dylan. I want to begin by passing along warmest wishes from Eric Smith, our CEO. Eric had a conflict that kept him in California today, but he asked me to send his greetings and deliver this message on his behalf. The Harbor Freight team is excited about this dramatic expansion of our operation in Dillon County. Since 2001, Dillon has been the hub of our Eastern Distribution Network, and South Carolina has been a great home for Harbor Freight Tools. The state of South Carolina and Dillon, Marion, and Marlboro counties have provided us with a well-trained workforce and a highly supportive place to do business. With this expansion, Harbor Freight will be doubling the size of its facility from 1 million square feet to about 2 million under roof, and our local workforce will increase from the current 680 employees to about 900 employees. Of course, we're gathered here today to not only celebrate all that lies ahead in terms of construction and job creation, but also to give thanks for the enormous effort of many, many people who brought us to this starting point. So let me begin at the top with Governor Nikki Haley. Governor Haley has been steadfast in her commitment to create new jobs here in South Carolina and has established a foundation of business-friendly policies that have made this project and others like it possible. Thank you so much, Governor. Secretary of Commerce Bobby Hitt, whose leadership and vision for economic development in the PD region played a key role in creating the economic infrastructure needed for this expansion. Department of Commerce Project Manager Tony Allen who played a central role as the project manager for the Department of Commerce and helped us bring the various jurisdictions together to help make this project a reality. 
Daniel Young and Cindy Turnipseed, Executive Director and Legal Counsel, respectively, of the South Carolina Coordinating Council for Economic Development. Daniel and Cindy worked with Harbor Freight in Dillon County to obtain various tax credits and state and federal grants needed to fund the infrastructure improvements necessary for our expansion. Kara Ramsey, Manager of Cargo Development for the South Carolina Ports Authority. Kara and the Ports Authority staff work with Harbor Freight to provide guidance on how increased utilization of the Port of Charleston could help facilitate our expansion plans. Archie Scott, Chairman of the Dillon County Council. Archie's leadership was instrumental in helping us reach agreement on various important incentives and infrastructure contracts with Dillon County. Ken DeBose, Dillon County Legal Counsel. Ken's deep experience with Dillon County and his ability to think outside the box made this negotiation and documentation process unusually productive and efficient. And then Tony McNeil, Dillon County Economic Development Director. As Dillon's cheerleader in chief, Tony worked tirelessly with the Harbor Freight team, the state of South Carolina, Dillon County, to create a win-win stretch scenario that allowed us to remain and expand in Dillon. Tony, thank you, my friend and Clay Young, the Dillon County Administrator. Everyone here must understand that without Clay's guidance, determination, sense of humor, and can-do attitude, this, there's no way this project would have ever happened. <clears throat> William Bethay. Bill and his family own the property that we will be using for the expansion. Bill has had a distinguished career in law and public service, and throughout the entire process, he's always been reasonable, always acted as a gentleman, and always worked with us to meet project timeframes and requirements in order to make this expansion happen. Thank you so much, Bill. Gino Sabatini, co-head of Global Investments and Managing Director of WP Carry Inc., our landlord. Gino and his team at WP Carry purchased our existing distribution center a couple of years ago, and they loved us so much as a tenant that they were eager to double down and become our landlord for this project as well. Gino, thanks for your great partnership. And thank you for making the trip from Dallas uh, to celebrate with us today. And we can't leave out our remarkable Harbor Freight team that helped us bring, bring us to the starting point. Starting in the trenches, we certainly would not be here today without the intense effort, determination, care, wisdom, and good judgment of our lawyers. Leading the charge was Dave Gusenberg. Dave, where are you? Dave? Our assistant general counsel, whose leadership on all aspects of this project has been stellar. And outside counsels, George Wolf and Glenn Koch of Nelson Mullins here in South Carolina, who've been invaluable in assisting us with our incentive and performance agreements and local real estate matters. And our team at Skadden Arps in Los Angeles, who are our go-to folks and really helped us through the documents. Playing day-to-day -day point on our deal team was Trey Filer, our vice president of real estate, who calmly and intelligently led us through the year-long process leading to today's event. And Adam Steese, our seemingly superhuman national director of construction, who oversaw the pre-construction process and will oversee the construction process as well. Working closely and tirelessly with Trey was our vice president of supply chain, Peter Seen, Natalie Carone, our director of IT and supply chain solutions, and Jonathan Kendall, our vice president of inventory. And of course, Robbie Robertson. Robbie, where are you? Somewhere. Working. Robbie, Robbie's our vice president of East Coast distribution and leader of our team in Dillon. There he is, and fantastic and, and really made today possible. These leaders at Harbor Freight possess a deep understanding of what it, what it takes to efficiently operate these behemoth distribution centers, and they help to guide and shape our work. I'd like to acknowledge our partners at Clayco, our general contractor, who's been instrumental in helping us diligence design and engineer the project, represented today by Greg Ernst, our project engineer. And Miller Valentine, our Columbia-based owner's representative, helped us value engineer the project and will be our local eyes and ears throughout the construction process, represented today by John Brockman. Clayco and Miller Valentine have helped position us well for the construction that lies ahead. And now the easy part, guys, just build it on time and on budget. <laughs> with, with this expansion, Harbor Freight Tools is making a commitment that extends far beyond its $75 million investment in a new building. We're making a commitment to outstanding corporate citizenship and a commitment to great corporate culture that will make Harbor Freight Tools the employer of choice here in the PD region. It's with that commitment in mind that we want to announce today our donation of tools 
to support vocational training and public education in this community as part of our Harbor Freight's Tool for, Tools for Schools program. We ask Northeastern Technical College, represented here today by its president, Dr. Ron Bartley, the Dillon County Technical Center, represented by Jerry Strickland, Marlborough County High School, represented today by Deputy Superintendent Dr. Rickman McLeod, and AMI for Kids, a nationally recognized nonprofit partnership with South Carolina Department of Juvenile Justice for at-risk youth, represented today by Jerry Chapman. We ask them all to go to one of our stores and come back with a wish list of tools that they need for their vocational training programs. Well, they came back to us with their list, and we're delighted to announce this morning that we will be donating all of the request, requested tools in the next few weeks. Harbor Freight has focused its philanthropic efforts on vocational training and public education in the communities we serve because we believe that vocational training across the United States has been neglected and underfunded for far too long. We should not and cannot forget the value of skilled people who earn a living with a trade. Our public schools need to provide a technical education to our next generation of mechanics, technicians, contractors, factory workers, and craftsmen. At Harbor Freight Tools, we live to serve these folks, and we're thrilled to help these four worthy local institutions provide students with the training they need. I want to acknowledge the 25 million loyal Harbor Freight Tools customers and 11,000 Harbor Freight Tools associates across the United States who've made the Harbor Freight Tools for Schools program possible. And with that, I will leave you with one final comment that Eric Smith, our CEO, asked me to pass along to you. Harbor Freight Tools loves South Carolina. We love our Dillon-based crew, and we're proud to call Dillon our home. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alan. Um, it was truly a, a total team effort. And if you don't mind, I'd like to recognize a few more partners at this time. Uh, Marlboro Electric Co-op, if you could stand. And also, uh, Duke Energy Progress, Stuart, if you're here, as well as Trico and the other utility partners. Um, let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> I wanted to recognize you. Thank you. Please stand and join me in welcoming the Honorable Governor Nikki Haley. Governor Haley. in Dillon County and it's a great day in South Carolina and I'm first excited this is a lucky announcement because how many of you know where Granny's One Stop is? <laughs> um, so if any of you were at Granny's One Stop there was a million dollar mega million winner last night so check your tickets and the winner is from Dillon County so it's another <laughs> on Highway 301 North in case you forgot. Um, so it's a great way to start off by saying this is a lucky area. I was just telling Alan, I said, this is such a great community. And it's a great community because the Tri-County area is very close. They've got people who understand what a good work ethic is. They love their families. They love the companies that support them. And that's why Harbor Freight Tools is called Dillon Home. What I want us to remember is that there is nothing better than an expansion. It is a complete compliment to this area that they have chosen to expand here and not go anywhere else. So I want to thank the people of the Tri-County area. I want to thank the people of Dillon County. This is teamwork um, from every ounce of whether it's the local level, the county level, all our economic development alliances, the technical schools, the utilities, everybody coming together. Tony Allen did a great job with this. I want to thank everybody that has come together. But this is our job now. Alan, I work for you, I work for Eric, and our job is to make sure they continue to be successful. This is just another phase in the success of Harbor Freight Tools. And what I will tell you is they make good quality tools at ridiculously low prices, right? <laughs> and so we want to make sure that we continue to expand that and continue to let everybody know that we are so proud to have them here in Dillon, South Carolina. So with that, um, I want to thank everybody for being here. I want you to know that this announcement, let's be very clear, is 200 additional jobs, $75 million invested in Dillon County. That's a great reason to celebrate in South Carolina. So thank you very much. God bless you. I look forward to being back again. Take care.
Thank you, Governor. At this time, we'll hear from uh, U.S. Congressman Tom Rice, uh, one of his representatives, Mr. Rodney Berry. To start off, to be perfectly clear, because I see many of my dealing friends here, it has been at least 20 years since I've been to Granny's One Stop, okay? <laughs> at least 20. Granny is a good buddy, and I'm happy for him, because I think perhaps he gets some type of cut of that. Good, good deal, good deal. This is a particularly special day for me, as it is many of y'all, because uh, today's my first day as I transition out of working for the great pity, uh, people of Marion County, now for uh, Congressman Tom Rice, and I'm very excited about that. And to do this... And our birth, my birthplace of Dillon is, is particularly special, as I see so many of you out there today. Uh, the congressman did have a long-standing appointment. He has former Speaker Newt Gingrich with him all day today. So as much as he wanted to be here, he was unable. But he did want me to tell you that he regretted he couldn't be at this groundbreaking ceremony. However, I offer his sincere congratulations to Harbor Freight Tools. This groundbreaking ceremony today brings opportunity and optimism to Dillon County Marion County, Marlboro County, the 7th District, and South Carolina. I would like to thank everyone who was involved in securing this investment and each of you, what each of you do to attract new business to our area. It is an honor to represent a right to work state that is consistently attracting new business and will continue to do so because South Carolinians, our business community, and our state leaders all share that same free market values. Indeed, we do. As yours representative in Congress, I will continue to encourage our pro-business climate and work hard to make sure that doing business in the 7th District is desirable for prospective companies and beneficial to existing ones. Creating more jobs and attracting new business is crucial to South Carolina. When one community thrives, indeed, we all thrive. Thank you, Harbor Freight Tools, for your investment in Dillon, Marlboro, Marion Counties, and our district and in our state. Uh, allow me to take just a, a couple more liberties, if I will. We did have a board that worked so well together, that complemented each other in every way. They tell you, you put smarter people in the room than you, and as chairman, I was absolutely the least intelligent of that bunch. Please stand if you were on that board, because there was a lot of moving parts. Stand if you served on that board with us. Thank you, and I'll leave with this, okay? We all know here, Marion, Dillon, Marlboro County, momentum is going our way. And I think you'll hear this more than once from this point on. You ever heard of the sweet spot? That's the place of the most optimal return. Many of you have experienced it with a tennis racket. Uh, you've experienced it with a golf club, just that little sweet spot. Uh, here in Dillon, right down the road, the sweet spot, sweet spot with that little spot on a running back right there, right in the numbers. Uh, but that's, we're in the sweet spot. The PD area of South Carolina is the sweet spot, and better things are coming. Thank you all so much. It's an honor to be here. Thank you, Rodney. And it's, it's certainly a good feeling to be in the, in the sweet spot. Um, at this time, I'm going to bring uh, Clay Young up to the podium to say a few words. County Dillon County Administrator. everybody being here. Uh, Trey, the weather is usually better than this, as, as many times we talk about California weather and all that, too. Uh, Rodney, I want to, I, I hate that you're coming off the board, but you know you're always welcome to stay on that board and give input, and, and your leadership over the last year has been tremendous. I mean, it's, it's, it's obvious what, what's happening. Um, before I get started, I, I'd like to recognize Bill Fay. Uh, Bill, I, I don't know if anybody here has been here longer than you and I. <laughs> I hate to say it, I mean, I, we've worked on this project for many, many years, 10, probably getting close to 10 years or more. We've had a lot of discussions uh, over and off uh, over the years about what we should do and how we should uh, accomplish things. Uh, I think this is a good a good accomplishment here on this, too. I, I'd, like, I'd like for you to stay, and I don't know if y'all, everybody knows Bill. Or not. Really played a tremendous role in this process here, too. There's so many people in, in this room as I look around that I can thank uh, for sure. Um, Alan, of course, um, got to know you over the last year and a half that we worked on this project together. I want to thank you and Harbor Freight for making this investment in Dillon County and into the Tri-County Industrial Park. Uh, this project started, like I said, for about a year and a half ago. 
we had some trials and tribulations over the time, so we worked out the details, and um, I couldn't know of a better team to work with than, uh, than you and Trey and David Gooseberg and your staff. I've been just tremendous uh, from that standpoint. Uh, as we say in economic development, this is a game changer or a community changer. This is truly a community changer for this part of the state. So I, I'm, I'm extremely happy about that. Um, I'd also like to thank my county council for all their help and assistance in this project. Archie Scott and I've got some other council members. Can y'all stand? I see Bobby and Joe here too. And see them. And see them. And see them. And see them. Without their help, they, they, this project would not would not have got off the ground at all. I'd also like to thank the other two counties for all their help and assistance in this process, too. They did a tremendous job. I'd like to thank the City of Dillon, Trico Water Company, for their uh, uh, providing infrastructure to this project here. They, they've been tremendous partners for Dillon County. Every time we've always gone to them and asked them to participate in any, in any project concerning economic development in Dillon County, they've always stepped up and been a, been a player. I'd also like to thank Jackie Hayes and Kent Williams, who could not be here. Uh, Tony McNeil and myself and, and uh, Tim Harper and, and met with Jackie and Kent last week on Friday, and I'm sure some of the other representatives could be here. Uh, Governor, you must have them in Columbia doing some very important business because uh, that's, that's, that's exactly what they told me. So that's, that's, that's probably a good thing. I'm glad you're in Columbia doing, doing, the, doing the people's business on that too. Um, I'd also like to thank the governor for her for her staff and what she's done for this project here. Also, it's like like to thank South Carolina Department of Commerce for giving us a CDBG grant, a RIF grant, always coming to the table every time we needed assistance. They were there. Um, not to go on, I could probably go on and on and on, but I, I do want to say one thing. Uh, as for me, I feel like I have a personal stake in Harper Freight Tools, just simply because I was here in 2001 when y'all opened up the first. Uh, first uh, edition here, um, at, and I was county administrator. And I was county administrator when they did the expansion. Uh, and now I'm the county administrator. Even though I did take about almost a two and a half, three out, three year leave, I've come back. I think y'all did it because I came back. Is that right, Alan? Okay. So I just, uh, of this new million square foot expansion, I, uh, I, I did want to say that one more time, Bill. But it's a new one million square foot expansion. I, that's that's uh, that's that's the thing I keep going back to. In conclusion. Um, I would personally like to thank Alan again too, Trey Fowler. I see him. I see him stuck back there. Uh, David Gusenberg, where's David at? He's sitting down back there. Um, uh, I couldn't work with a better team. I tell you, y'all, y'all, y'all guys, uh, can y'all give them a hand? Because I, <laughs> I, I, I um, Jeff McKay, who, who's in the back over here. Um, Glenn Wagner, who's the city manager. Of course, Tony McNeil. Uh, Ken DeBose, our county attorney, I saw Ken is back there. You may, Ken may want to wait until he's back there, too. <clears throat> and myself uh, worked hard on this project, and without these people here, I think this project you know, has turned out as good as well as it has on that, too. Um, the only other, the last couple things I want to say is that uh, I don't know if I'll be here for the next expansion, Alan, <clears throat> uh, but I do know one thing. This is a great day in Dillard County. This is a great day to be in the PD. And this is a great day to be in South Carolina because of Harbor Freight and what they've invested and what they're going to invest here in Dillon County. Thank you. Thank you, Clay. At this time, I'd like to bring up Tim Hopper, Marion County Administrator. I'm not as long-winded as Clay, but first off, Alan, I want to thank you and Harbor Freight for expanding into our uh, Tri-County Park. But after setting up planning for about an hour last night, my wife finally told me to go to bed and put that sales paper from Harbor Freight down. <laughs> but I, I have spent a lot of money on this. So maybe I didn't need, but I may need one time. But, but we would like to welcome Harbor Freight on behalf of the Tri-County Park, Marion County. Uh, as you've heard there's been a lot of work done by a lot of different people, a lot of different groups. And that collaboration and partnership has been very important. And with our economy and, the, and with us, all three counties having some of the same situations going on, collaboration and partnership is important to move forward. And as Rodney said, we've got momentum going. And uh, we look forward to continuing that momentum, not only here in our park, but in our three counties also. And we hope for more to come. And, uh, as uh, Clay said, that he won't be here for the next expansion. I'm hoping I will be here for the next expansion. <laughs> so, but we do want to thank Paul Craig. We want to thank the Department of Commerce and the Governor's Office for what y'all have done and the success that we have here today. And let's keep it going. Thank you. 
Thank you, Tim. At this time, we'll hear from Jim Haynes, Marlboro County Administrator. As a new kid on the block, only having worked with Marlboro County for uh, since since the fall, I feel like I've married into a family of chefs and cooks, and it's time for dessert and it's Thanksgiving week. So I, I'm just here to help celebrate and uh, and join Governor Allen. Rodney with the congressman's office. It's it's just a great day to be a part of the PD region, and I want to say that I appreciate the the opportunity to have been, having played a small part in making some of this happen or watching it happen around me. To be perfectly honest, uh, with me today, some folks who haven't been introduced. Uh, of course, we've, you've met Dr. Prince, the chairman of our our council. Our vice chairman Munnerlin is in the crowd. I've lost touch with them, or I can't see them from up here, but they're in the. They're in the crowd, uh, Councilman Steen, Councilman Gladden, uh, Ron King, our economic developer, is here. I think I saw some other folks, uh, Superintendent Villar from uh, the schools, and if I do this much more, I'm going to forget someone or mispronounce somebody's name if I haven't already, so I'm going to stop. Um, as the governor mentioned, it is a compliment to an area, for any area, to have an existing industry to expand. We need to appreciate that uh, as citizens and as leaders in our communities. It really does pay you a compliment. And Alan, we, we certainly appreciate Harbor Freight's compliment to the folks in this region. And it's been said that leaders, I think it was said about county leaders, but I'll say it about leaders of all kinds, industry leaders, government leaders, leaders of families, it's been said that sometimes you plant trees under whose shade you may not sit. Folks years ago have planted seeds here under whose shade those trees were beginning to sit. And we appreciate that effort and we try to think and plan and play a role in planting more trees and today we're seeing some more of those trees planted I think. And, I, and folks, I want to live long enough to be able to sit under the shade, and maybe if not, our kids and grandkids will. But I appreciate the opportunity to be here on behalf of Marlboro County, Marlboro County Council. We are, we're, we're, we're glad to have played a part in, in the development of this park and the in bringing Harbor Freight and allowing this expansion to happen. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. You know, we, we always try to recognize everybody, um, all the partners that participate in, in this uh, great event. And at this time, I'm sure we, we missed you. It was a small oversight, but Cecilia Urquhart from Senator Lindsey Graham's office, we want to recognize you as well. Thank you. Thank you for being here. At this time, I'd like to welcome to the podium Jeff McKay from NISA. So, Jeff, if you come up, say a few words. last person here, you're going to hear some things from me that have already been said, but I think they, they deserve uh, repeating. Uh, Al, thank you. I mean, you and your team, you don't know the ripple effects that this investment is going to have all over this region, and it's going to make a tremendous impact. You already have. Thank you again. Um, I also feel like I'm one of those uh, 25 million uh, people that you were thanking earlier, so you're welcome. Uh, I'm certainly vested in Harbor Freight. I, I can take you to my garage and, and prove it. So, so I'm excited about it from a personal standpoint. Uh, with NISA, uh, we're all about promoting collaboration and cooperation. And I don't think you could find a definition of that that would be represented better than what we have today. Uh, I could probably go down a five-page list of people who were involved in this project and who played a role in it coming together. And, and folks, that's what it's all about, working together for, for a common goal, and this is the end result. And, and it'll, the impact of this will be felt, as I said, across the region, but for, for years and years to come. And I am going to go back through the list and thank some folks, and I, I know I'll leave some, some folks out, but Governor... Thank you and your, your staff, integral role. Uh, as I said, Harbor Freight, they're, they're it, and, and we appreciate them. Our legislative delegation, the three economic developers, as Rodney said earlier, uh, you know, there were a lot of meetings, a lot of rooms, and a lot of 
a lot of brain power that came together from our, our economic developers and our county our, uh, our county administrators putting the pieces of this puzzle together so uh, thank them our utility partners bill I, you were there uh, bill but they I, I mean you know where we where we came from and where we are now and it's been tremendous uh, uh, as I say, our, our, our county councils, I can't remember if I, I said that, but they, you know, the, the pieces, as I said, this puzzle were just, just tremendous, but uh, the, the end result is a beautiful portrait. And thank you again, Alan, and thank all of you who had a role in that. Thank you, Jeff. At this time, Governor Haley and Alan, if you would join me at the rear of the tent for the ground, actual groundbreaking, and also uh, members of the audience.